let's get into this new uh this article that we found uh basically yes. if you guys don't know uh complex they do this kind of running list every year whatever whoever is like the greatest rapper alive for that year and they just kind of keep a running list so uh, we were thinking you know why not uh just kind of go through maybe the last decade or two and the greatest rappers alive for each year and just kind of react to them right you know, yeah see if there's any outrageous picks yeah complex is always a little bold with their picks uh when it comes to these yeah. lists so i'm curious to see who they think is the best rapper alive for each year yeah let's see it so, all right since 1979 so this is like when rap was first getting started <laughs> I don't know where, where what point do we want to start do we want to start 2010s do we want to start let's go yeah let's go at least within the 2010s i These can't see deep, cuts. deep, like deep cuts super deep cut so okay i mean of course you have like ll cool on there but it's like it's like when rap was like going downstairs and doing much horrors you know it's just like yeah, when yeah, they yeah. when it These wasn't even are the breaks yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. 99, Jay Z, oh. a. Oh, we're gonna get, I, we're gonna get a, like a solid run here, I think, of Jay Z yeah. picks. Okay. Because I'm sure this is like when Reasonable Doubt, Eminem. Eminem, yeah, 2000. All right, yeah, like Eight Mile. Is that uh, Jay Z again? Oh, you're calling it 2001. Jay Z, the Blueprint. Okay. Yeah. Blueprint. Okay, yeah. Volume two. Volume for two. Sure, gotta be. Yeah. What is it? 2002. Oh, I guess, 2002. Three? Eminem wow. again, back to back. Wow. So it's Eminem Damn. and Jay Z right now going back and forth. Yeah. I like it. Okay, for the two thousands. Let's see what's two thousand three. Is it Jay Z again? Fifty cent. Yes. Okay. Okay. That's solid. Okay. Yeah. Uh, get rich or die trying. Is that is that what? Uh... Yeah, that's what they say is like the main reason. Oh, oh, yeah. uh, number one hit with in the club. Twenty one questions. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Did you hear that? Apparently, like the songs that are big hits off of that album, like Many Men and and yeah, in the club, were all like passed down from other rappers. Like they're just leftover beats. Like really, Many Men was uh, originally like a Nas song, and he just took it and it made it like one of the biggest hits. Obviously, Pop Smoke did like oh, a shit. sample of it. So, right. I mean, yeah, Fifty Cent for sure obviously he's kind of a he's kind of a bullshit artist now um <laughs> like pi 2004 oh, let's break some news hold on let's break some news so uh matt why don't you go ahead and break uh some our thoughts exclusive news here. yes on the field report heard it here first bro um yeah i should be selling this story to tmz or something but um <laughs> yeah. ti showed up to my i work at a a, a comedy um club i won't say which one but i, I work at a comedy club here in hollywood um and ti showed up not only to like watch the show but to do stand up and he did stand up for about like 20 minutes like a really long set um and he was like they introduced him they're like this next comic special guest he's only been doing comedy for three days all of a sudden ti walks on a stage and he was like yeah you're probably like not expecting me and like <laughs> everyone was going crazy um but he said like yeah like this comedy thing you know right now i'm working on i'm working on my last album uh and he's gonna start pursuing comedy after music which is i've never heard that career you know trajectory yeah. ever so <laughs> he might be the first one to do it i mean he was funny he was cool i thought he was funny yeah um yeah he's He's charismatic. Yeah. I mean, if you watch like Rhythm and Flow, he's pretty iconic on that show. And he Breaking news, alleged sex trafficker T.I. Uh, oh. will be dropping out of music to uh, do stand-up comedy afterwards. So, damn. you know, there we go. Good That's stuff. Crazy. <laughs> damn, what a, a <laughs> headline. <laughs> what a headline, bro. Yeah, me neither, no. Okay, 2006, Lil Wayne. That makes sense because yeah. I think that's when the Carter, yeah, the Carter 2 came out. But yeah, Lil Wayne, 2006, solid. And then here we go to the Kanye, Kanye era. Was, yes, this is Beats 50 Cent in a highly publicized sales battle. Yeah, I remember this. When he was, wow. he challenged 50 Cent to a first weekend or or what is it? Like whatever had the most sales in the first week or something like that. Um, and he won, which kind of just changed the trajectory of rap or just the type of rap that was popular. You know, 50 I Cent mean, being the the gangster rap you know legacy yeah look at who, all the greatest rappers alive so far it's all like that that ilk of rap or yeah. that you know sort of genre of rap now now and, and then i guarantee you as we get through this list it's going to be like you know rappers that don't normally talk about you know that gangster side the coke drugs and all right, that right, stuff right. be more yeah so we'll see we'll see as this list goes <laughs> on here but yeah kanye west 2007 of course of course 
That was uh, his album Graduation. That's what it was. Um, Lil Wayne again in 2008. <laughs> Shook up the world every time he dropped another Carter. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. This is Officer. Obviously a great song. I think Lollipop. I think that was Lollipop era. I think Ooh. so. Yeah, Amelie. <laughs> Amelie. Amelie. Go Classic. Amelie. <laughs> Everyone had to drop a, a 16 on that. Right. No matter what. Jay-Z again. In 09. That Blueprint, Blueprint three? Part 3. Jay-Z's on here, I think, like three, maybe four times, depending on how it goes for the rest of the list. But I feel like he might yeah, be the one yeah. who's on here the most. Let's see. Oh, Kanye again, 2010. His comeback. This is uh, Heartbreaks, Heart, uh, 808s and Heartbreak? No, or no. Uh, uh, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. Duh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Man, that was like a moment right there, because obviously... When you talk about my uh, beautiful dark twisted fantasy, you also get the Taylor Swift stuff. Right. Um, you get the whole moving to Hawaii and crafting the album, inviting people over. So obviously, yeah. When you talk about rappers, you talk about eras. 2010 has to go to Kanye West for sure. That one makes sense to me. 2011 Drake. Okay. Yes. This is the Take Care days. Or yes. yeah, this is basically. Some people say uh, like Drake's golden years. Um, mm. I don't know. What do you think about that? I could see that. I could see that. I think that, um, especially when you talk about what he is now, you know, yeah. where he's like this R and B rap hybrid artist. Twenty eleven, Take Care was like the first time where he really like owned it. I can get, I can get with that. With Take Care being, uh, honestly, I might agree that that would be <laughs> his like peak, maybe musically. Um, Damn. That was like right when he started off. <laughs> just went, it just went downhill from there, bro. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he had so far. Or I guess he kind of like he middled. You know, he kind of just stayed making the yeah. quality of music he did with like nothing was the same. If you're reading this too late, yeah. but then obviously like once you get to views, it's yeah. a little bit. Then and then and then and then and then and then. What would you consider to be like the pinnacle of Drake's? I think career? I think he peaked for sure. At, if you're reading this, is you're too late. Um, yeah. I think yeah, that was his right. last good album. Um, yeah. I mean, Views, it's like very loose. What I think, I, how I feel about Views, like it was like the last album I feel like I could listen to by Drake and respect mm. as, as an album. <laughs> um, but no, I will always go back to If You're Reading This Is Too Late. And he was kind of at a peak there because he dropped that. It was like a surprise album and it blew up immediately and became one of his most iconic albums and some of his hardest songs. And I just wish he would go back to his like that era of just like rapping because this hybrid weird corny bars corny drake era that we're in right now like ironic very ironic trying to be yeah type thing but know. it's like he's trying to be self-aware but like he's really not if you're reading this is too late my favorite drake album for sure no i want to i really want to see who's chosen for 2012 okay yeah, let's do it let's do it Drake again? <laughs> Damn, bro. What is this for? Oh my um, god. They gave it to wait. They gave him 2012 just from his singles. Take care the the motto. Uh, I mean, those are classic songs, but to give best rapper alive. Honorable I mean, mentions. Oh my what? They say honorable mentions Kendrick Lamar. Wow, that's uh um, <laughs> But still I feel like eight like ASAP Rocky though? Like what about like long live ASAP? You know, like that I feel like that's yeah. gotta be around this era. Double like back to back Drake, bro. Drake did did rule a good amount of the twenty ten, so I guess if Wait, Kendrick Okay, so Good Kid Mad City came out in 2012. Okay, it says here. So they didn't give... Uh, they're hella weird, bro. They're like... Uh, this is... Honorable mention Kendrick Lamar right before he dropped Good Kid Mad City. But I'm pretty sure that was yeah. that dropped in 2012. So... Complex. Honestly, they simp it for again, Drake. One thing you'll see that we love doing is shitting on publications for <laughs> their stupid ass <laughs> opinions when they try to play yeah. politics this is the best the best thing about this is they say 2013 kendrick lamar and then they say honorable mention drake so i'm like <laughs> please <laughs> can we can we make a choice so, let's see yeah. let's see who they got for 2014 oh 2014, we got our Nicki girl Nicki minaj you know this is, this is yeah the pink print I, I definitely agree. This era was, yeah, this era was interesting for Nikki because I remember when she first like was on the scene and everybody was kind of paying attention to her. She wasn't really getting much respect as a rapper. You know, people thought she was kind of like weird or like really out there or kind of like annoying and you know, being a female rapper that comes with its, you know, stereotypes in the hip hop yeah. community. But with Pink Print, I think she kind of like cemented herself as a legitimate rapper because she was just outselling like everyone and especially with this yes. with this album um and then she kind of dominated 
rap for a little while in terms of like rap that was popular rap like on radio and stuff like that like she kind of dominated oh, yeah. that like for at least two to three years yeah 2014 was definitely the year where i think she garnered the most fans that built up like the empire they have today the barbs you yeah. know you talk about <laughs> you talk about the barbs talk about that <laughs> that army she has on right now yeah pink print i think was the album that and like Roman's Holiday, whichever one. Also, yeah, is Roman's. It an album that she has like four different versions of. I, I was talking about Pink Friday. If you look at her, oh, I yeah, and I was just Spotify, it goes the very first album she did, Pink Friday, and then it goes Pink Friday, the complete edition, mm. Pink Friday, the deluxe edition, and then you have Pink Friday, Roman Reloaded, Roman and then Reloaded, you have, and then you have Pink Friday, Roman Reloaded, the deluxe edition. Wow, and then you a deluxe have on a deluxe. The de <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. The deluxe on the, the, the bonus features. <laughs> I don't know. It's a whole thing. So that's six different, seven different versions of the same album. But yeah, uh, what are some of the honorable mentions for that year? They said Drake again. I feel like they've honor Drake. honorably mentioned Drake every year. Um. Oh my God. Okay, we're back with Drake. Hot 2015 era. Hotline Bling era. Oh, he had two number one debuts with if you're reading this it's too late and what a time to be alive with future this was this like was... drake's like uh billboard era i feel like when he just dominated the charts for me personally if i'm saying take care like is it peak musically <laughs> if you're reading this is too late was like the evolved like super saiyan version of, of drake <laughs> where you know he got the fresh cut with the line you know he's wearing like sponsored by jordan you know jump man jump man jump man, all that stuff comes at uh the back to back record obviously with meek mill right that was this era like he this was him like for real like being the hip-hop the the guy i guess yeah the greatest rapper alive at that point yeah i guess chat's talking shit about this picture they used of him or like this animated <laughs> <pretty> version <laughs> yeah <laughs> who are some of the honorable mentions for 2015 honorable mentions future okay makes sense like yeah time to be alive future. kendrick lamar um is that when he released to pimp a butterfly oh and no, wait, wasn't the best rap There's album of the no year? Way that wait, quit. it's tough to argue that it wasn't the most important. It's perhaps the most ambitious. What? Bro. Oh, you know, bro, that's crazy. They also mentioned uh, what Forest Hills Drive also came out. I think that's 2014. Wow. So this is right now, if you're keeping track, this is like the years where that three headed monster, the big three of the yeah. 2010s is like really kind of taking over here. Uh, I'm surprised that J. Cole hasn't, he probably won't get you know, spot up on, on the greatest rapper alive. Bruh. Which is, which Complex is, doesn't, Complex doesn't like J. Cole. I feel like yeah. they never they talk like about him. He is. Yeah, no, they don't like the, the positive bars or they're not. He's too intellectual for them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't get it. They don't, they don't get, get it. it. They don't get it. I don't know, bro. I, I mean, Drake, yeah, if you want to talk about charts, but I think Kendrick did something way more impactful with, you know, to pimp a butterfly. I'm going to predict they do a makeup call and give it to Kendrick for the next one. Okay, for 2016? For 2016. Chance. Oh. oh, okay. Damn, bro. Seeing this now. Oh, my God. How far he's fallen, bro. From greatest, greatest rapper alive Ooh, i love my wife <laughs> i love my wife <laughs> um probably for coloring book obviously ultra yeah. light beam um his his magnificent was, coloring day festival i wouldn't call it the greatest rapper alive but i would say like he was definitely like the one to look out for at that time like he was yeah. the, the one who put everyone on notice dude i remember like, like this year or like a couple like a year after this album came out Mm -hmm. People were saying like Chance is the new like like the He's new face. Yeah, like he yeah. has rap in his hand right now. Like everybody's looking at him, um, and especially when he won he won a Grammy off this album. Okay, okay, they say they I I have some respect now. <laughs> yeah, all right. This it has some credibility. The the reaction to Damn, I don't know if you notice, is like really weird. Yeah, like when we talk about when we talk about albums that get a bad rap just because of what it followed up you know yeah. uh dam is definitely one of those uh like i think don fm is another one of those where uh it's kind of being affected like people kind of talk less positively about it just because of how amazing to pimp a butterfly was like they'll always preface love the yeah. album but it's not as good as to pimp a butterfly kind of thing right yeah that's a fair that's a fair statement but i just feel like dam is like its own thing and yeah. does things certain things better both of them i think are kind of similar in a way they both kind of like have a take on rap 
that's a little bit like tongue in cheek, a little bit like kind of putting the whole genre of rap under a microscope and like kind of dissecting it in a different way. Uh, like with uh, Tip of Butterfly, it's like the crazy, you know, jazz ensembles and stuff like that. And the Dam is just kind of like deconstructed and like really raw. Um, but no, Kendrick definitely owned this year. I mean, Dam was, I mean, his last project he ever released. And that was like a cultural reset at that point. All right, I'm with that. I'm with that. So here, 2018, we're getting into oh, the yeah, Pusha T. Pusha T. Yeah, Daytona. Okay. Daytona. Story of Adidon exposing Drake. Oh, Dog, shit. One of the greatest moments of hip hop. That's right. Okay. Yeah, you that's can't pretty... go wrong with this one. I, I agree with can't... this one. I feel like um, this this is like an L, like a, an awful year just for Drake in general. Um, yeah. Because, yeah, yeah, it was yeah. Scorpion, then he had to admit he had a son, and then he was just getting roasted like every other month that year by Pusha T. It was like, it was intense. Pusha T definitely, he was like the greatest rapper alive, like for all the right and like wrong reasons because like nobody else yeah. was talking as much shit as he was the epitome of hip-hop right there yeah so uh asteroid also came out this year but i True. can understand push a t one upping that if, if there had ever collide, yo <laughs> no the baby bro okay bro no. he's a rapper i pull up whoa it's the baby bro i was just showing my girl memes about you let's go no I, <laughs> bro, they're kind of right though. I remember like the baby was the hottest rapper, bro. Like Suge, Blame It On Baby, like those yeah. were the songs this year. Oh my god, I can't believe that was 2019. Yo, you see that video? Lied. You see that video of him fighting in the bowling alley? <laughs> Dude, yeah, literally, <laughs> that's so crazy. I came out today, and then we talk about him right now. Um, yeah, what do you know? What that was about? Does anyone know what that was about? And also, I saw your tweet about the guy holding like <laughs> gas, like it was like a documentary. Was, he has probably the best fight footage like ever recorded. Like that shit was in 4K, <laughs> glam, like glorious footage. <laughs> like, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> it's like full on like 35 millimeter meter print. Yeah, film. <laughs> it's off the print. It's shot it on film. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Someone was probably just talking shit and. It's just like the goofiest fight. They're like in the bowling alley. They're fighting in the lanes. Some his videographer comes out. He's got a big ass camera and he's like punching people and with his camera in one hand and like throwing left hooks with the other hand. I was like, what the fuck is going on? Okay, Please. I will I will I admit, know. you know, this year was the year of the baby for sure. Piercy, Piercy. He not he's not a bad rapper, just a bad musician. Okay, yeah, that's a that's yeah. a fair take. That's I'm true. Down with that. That's true. That. Twenty we got? twenty twenty. I forgot. I forgot. We, we had oh. A whole lot Oh, little baby. Okay, you know what? Actually, I would say, Chance the Rapper in 2016 is where little baby was at. Is at, well, I guess in 2020, where he's like, "Yo, like this dude is next That's up. True. Like That's he, true. he comes up on a bunch of features. You know, kills it. And at this point, it's like, wow, like what can't he do? Kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. And we'll see how little baby how he kind of goes about it. But hopefully not as bad <laughs> as uh what Chance our our good brother Chance had to go through. Yeah, I will say little baby. Everybody, there is like his. I think it was his verse on what like wants and needs or something that i just heard everywhere like people were memorizing yeah. it it was like a trend on tiktok to like recite that baby verse so 2021 they say oh shit tyler, tyler the creator go. oh this is the best graphic yeah that's the best one damn yeah. okay so there you go um call I me if you get lost for me personally uh donda you could make an argument for donda uh not certified lover boy i think call me um, to get lost is like the big one i remember watching that interview with him on i forget what radio show but it was like the one interview that people always pull the clips from where he's just like being super real and he was mm -hmm. saying he was like yeah like once i got off of flower boy and then igor he was like i was done with the the melodies like i just wanted to rap that's all i wanted to do um i didn't expect him to go back into like rapping like he used to um yeah and so it was it was a little bit abrupt but i'm like damn he's really kind of in his bag right now so i feel mm -hmm. like he definitely dominated last year for sure yeah i definitely thought he was gonna go into like you know he found that new lane with that you know igor voice yeah kind of that art rap hybrid i thought he was just gonna really go through that oh and Bruh. also i'm seeing people yeah that dude we missed here in the chat j cole did drop off yes, season that's an absolute big one that's what i'm off saying season. Complex hates Amazing J. Cole. 
Yes, Lil Sims, yeah. yeah. Uh, incredible album as well. Yeah, this was actually, 2021 was a pretty good year for, for, for big yeah. hip hop albums. Yeah, so, all right, yeah, there you go. Tyler, the creator, the greatest rapper alive as of last year. They gave Kanye um, and J. Cole the, uh, the honorable mention. I guess we'll end the segment off with this. Do you have a prediction for 2022? 2022? I don't know, it's pretty early to tell. Very if early. i mean if we are getting a kendrick album this year that'll easily be the greatest rapper alive contender right there it'll be a, i think it'll be a battle between kendrick and cole because i think cole oh. might be coming oh, out with something right. towards the end of the year uh the yeah. off season was kind of like a summer album just because yeah. like his comeback he wanted it to be kind of fun you know uh, he has the whole fun. fall off thing that he has to execute yes yes yeah. so i feel like we're gonna get something towards the winter when Ooh. and it's going to be kind of more dramatic you know kind of more into his narrative you know concept album vibe i feel like maybe <laughs> something for your eyes only type thing. i hope so yeah so yeah there you go there's our <laughs> there's our greatest rappers alive segment